coronavirus has forced many businesses to change the way they operate. BT Ireland's Jackie Phillips spoke to Silicon Republic about how BT responded to the crisis and the challenges it came up against. Can you tell me a little bit about how BT Ireland immediately responded to the COVID-19 crisis? We had a very quick response to the COVID-19 crisis and decided very early on to mobilise a task force. We actually had our task force up and running by the 24th of February, so I I think that was pretty pretty early on in the whole crisis. Um, And we decided to focus on three key objectives, those being obviously keeping our employees safe, informed and supported, ensuring continuity of services, for our customers, including the 999-112 service, and continuing to provide support in communities as part of our responsible business strategy. Um, As a communications provider, we were also very aware of the importance in ensuring our network remained available at all times, and, and in order to facilitate additional demand from customers, we increased network bandwidth to support greater traffic across the network. So how did your business strategy and operations change? We were relatively lucky in in so much as we already had detailed business continuity plans in place across the entire business. We we obviously needed to review some of these uh, and update and test where necessary, but we were in a a relatively good position to start off with. Uh, Operationally, the business needed to to look at critical services where remote working had never previously been, been, been applied. For example, the 999 emergency call answering service that uh, BT Island supports. Uh, In normal circumstances, the emergency call answering services would be operated out of call centre locations on, you know, a 24 by 7 shift rotor. In order to protect staff um, and the service, we needed to adapt this pretty quickly and enable flexible home working where appropriate. This has been, you know, completely successful. We've maintained service levels and we've continued to operate at the, the optimum level with all calls continuing to be answered within SLAs. As a communications provider, we were very conscious of the need to support our customers in this unprecedented situation. So we mobilised our customer operations teams to ensure our customers were supported and equipped as much as possible to deal with the crisis. And did you come across any challenges as you were sort of implementing these changes and making these pivots? I think because we, we are a technology company and we already had a, a really flexible um, working policy that was ingrained in our, in our policy and, and with our people, we've really faced minimal disruption or challenges. That's not to say we haven't had them, but I think we've been fairly lucky as an organisation and we probably haven't had the challenges that, that other companies have experienced. Our main priority has been to ensure critical services and network availability continues to operate safely and efficiently and, and to ensure that we could continue to support our employees and, and customers as effectively as possible. Having the ability to respond and fulfil urgent requirements uh, to help them through difficult times has been vital. On sort of a broader scale, what ways do you think COVID-19 will have made permanent changes to the way we live and work? Uh, I, th- I think for me, seeing everybody working remotely and in, in home environments has, has actually been a real leveller. You know, we see people in, in their home environments with distractions, with, you know, children, with pets, animals, etc. Um, and we all have had to adapt really quickly and get used, used to those tools and techniques. It's taken us all out of our comfort zones, but I also think it's broken down some barriers. You know, personally, I found out more about you know, people that I've worked with um, than than I have probably over the last two years. That's great. Thank you very much, Jackie.